Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to Member Beauty. My name is Victoria and it has been a long time. So yeah, I just figured today I had, it's Labor Day, so happy Labor Day, and I didn't have a lot to do today and it's been forever since I've actually done a makeup tutorial and so I have a little bit of guilt about that but I figure today we'll do some makeup. I've been seeing all like the Euphoria stuff and I've never watched the show but I'm gonna hop on the bandwagon and do a little um, Euphoria tutorial kind of thing. Um, and I did a poll and you guys wanted to see some warm colorful looks and I figure I'll throw some gems in there because why not. And we'll do a little up Date, like about my life and stuff like that things that have been going on that you guys don't really know about things that you do know about and we will just talk about the craziness that is my life this summer and yeah so if you want to know what I've been up to and want to see how to get this makeup look that I'm not wearing right now then just keep watching as for things in my life um, I'm gonna just talk pretty much for this whole makeup tutorial, so I'm not really gonna be talking about what I'm gonna be using, so I'm just gonna kinda casually show it to you on the side. And I will probably list everything down below, so if you guys are unsure about what I used, feel free to message me or comment or whatever, and look in the description box because it should be listed down there if you don't feel like asking. Um, but yeah, so this summer, so... <laughs> Holy moly, you guys. Let's talk. Um, so let's reverse all the way back to June. So June happened. Actually, we need to go back to May. So let's do the whole wraparound. So May happened work for me. Like, not YouTube work, but like my actual legitimate job that pays my bills. Um, work has been crazy and busy. And then on top of that... Tyler and I decided that it was maybe time to look into getting a house and I know big step. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, Tyler and I have been together for, it's going to be nine years this December. So that's a long time. And so we decided that maybe getting a house was a good idea. We were looking at um, apartments and stuff like that and it just seemed that getting a house was maybe the easiest thing. And so, sparing you details, we were looking into home buying. We came upon a house that ended up being a good option for us, and we kind of moved forward with it. In the meantime, we were preparing to go on vacation with my dad um, for Italy. So, that happened right in the like beginning ish of June. And I hope you guys watched those vlogs because I will tell you what, that was the most incredible trip ever. It was so good. Tyler had never been out of the country and I had been there before because if you watched the vlogs, you would know that I have family over there. So um, my dad's mother, all of her sisters live in Italy. She came over on the boat from Italy and got married to a Georgian man. <laughs> And yeah, so pretty much we went over there to visit all these family members that we have, stayed with them. And so I'll, I'll kind of go through that trip because it was such a cool trip. So essentially my family lives like right around Venice, so right around the northern part of Italy. And so when we went, I have been before and I'd never been to like the coastline or... <coughs> Dear God. I'd never been to like the coastline or to anything like that, um, like the southern part of Italy. So I had told my dad like if we can do some other things while we're there, I would love to go see that because like we had been to Rome before, it's been a while, but we went before so that wasn't like at the top of the list. So essentially we ended up doing, and like I said, I will put up here, yeah, yeah, check me out, still on the right side. So I will put a link to the vlogs from Italy, and please, if you guys haven't watched them, they're so good, like, proud of myself. They turned out really, really well, and the footage was really nice, and it was just such a cool trip, so if you are kind of trying to live vicariously through somebody, feel free to do that through this vlog. It, they ended up being really, really good, so 
So essentially we went to, we went all over the place. We went to, um, we first flew into Naples, which if you are not familiar with geography, everybody knows that Italy kind of looks like a boot. And so if you went to the front of the ankle of Italy, that is like where Naples is. So we went there first and we drove, like got driven or whatever to Sorrento. And we stayed there for like the first couple days. And while we were in Sorrento, we did a boat trip to Capri, which is such the, like a cool island. And we went to um, Positano. And so when we were in Positano, we bought a table actually. So Positano, okay, so Capri is known for like lemons. So that is like the head place for like limoncello and all that kind of stuff. And so we bought limoncello and brought it back for people. But, um, but as far as we went, we didn't really have anything that we really wanted to do. And so when we went to Positano, they're also known for lemons, but they're also known for like ceramics and stuff like that. And so we thought that was really cool and we didn't know that. So when the opportunity arose, we went to a ceramic shop and we saw that they had, we have a bay window in our kitchen that of the house that we just bought. So I hadn't gotten there in my store yet, but I guess we should backtrack a little bit. Regardless, we have a bay window in our kitchen that I had been wanting to put like a small little two person table in front of so that we could like sit and have coffee and kind of talk and, it would be like a really pretty like little sun, sunny spot where we could just chat and relax and if somebody was cooking in the kitchen you could kind of talk to them and you'd have somewhere to sit and stuff like that. So I had thought that I wanted to get like a two person table for right there and while we were in Positano we went in and we had been looking online for like a table that would fit for that and honestly we had looked all over the place, didn't find anything that we really felt like we loved. And so when we went to this ceramic shop, we came across, like, we went around and it's really cool. So all of the tables are made out of volcanic rock because in Positano, it's all built on a volcano and stuff like that. And so when we went and we did that, we saw um, that they make it out of volcanic rock and they're all done to order. So you order a table and they make it specifically for you. It is handmade. The whole thing, we cut the slab, super cool. So we were like, oh my God, that's incredible. And we walk up the stairs to go see um, like their warehouse, I guess it's not really a warehouse, but um, like we went up the stairs to see what they had to offer. And so we saw that they had this beautiful table. It was like literally right at the top of the stairs. And we were like, oh my God, if that is not meant to be, I don't know what it is. So we ended up, whew, we ended up purchasing a table from there. It was not that exact table, but um, that table was like the perfect size for us. So I will show you guys, um, we'll get to that part of this video here soon, but um, I will eventually show you guys that table because it is so beautiful. So yeah, so we went to Positano, walked around there. It was so amazing. and. Then we um, went to Pompeii, which was incredible, and I actually expected that to be much more sad, and don't get me wrong, it was sad, but at the same time, it was so cool, and so I highly recommend that if you guys go, like, if you get an opportunity to go and travel and do stuff like that, please go, because it was just the coolest trip, but regardless. Then that was kind of the end of that leg of our trip. We ended up then going back up to Venice and seeing my family there so we went and walked around Venice which oh my god I love Venice so much I'm sad that we didn't get to go like a second day I wish that we had but regardless it was so pretty and so my my family they live up by Venice and also by like the Italian Alps so we went to um we went to brunch or like lunch I guess there with the whole fam and it was just so incredible and I don't know if you guys have been seeing my pictures on Instagram, but if you haven't, you should go look. It literally looks like a scene of a fairy tale. It looks fake. Um, again, if you haven't seen the vlog, you should go watch it. It's just, it was just the coolest. So, um, I, I don't even know how to say it. It's just, it was so cool. 
So we then just kind of hung out around there with them and didn't really do a whole lot more. We went shopping, went to like Pot of the Land. So we, yeah, we actually went to a, um, a Italian water park, which was super cool. And I had been there before, but, um, but it's so much different than like <laughs> water parks here incredibly different um there's like no rules there uh like here you know if you go up to get onto like a slide or something you have like 85 lifeguards and everybody's watching you and you got to make sure that you like go at the right moment because if you don't then you'll get yelled at and blah 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 here it's like a free-for-all nobody cares it's just like whatever which is quite funny to just like see the difference in safety precautions <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, so it was just such a cool trip. We got to see all my family and Tyler got to meet everybody and it was just really incredible and we all had a great time. The weather was like perfect. So again, it really just highlighted to me like if you ever have the opportunity to travel, don't pass it up. It's not worth you like, I don't know, just, just travel. Like even if you're scared to get on an airplane, just go. Like I said, this was Tyler's first time out of the country. He had only been on a plane like once or twice before. And so he was nervous, but as anybody would be. But it's just so worth it. So incredible. It was such a good trip. So kind of rewinding a little bit. Right before we went to, um, to Italy, there was craziness going on in our lives here. So like I said, we had to we had picked out a house we had found a house that we really liked and we decided that we were going to try to close on it so we had to go through that whole ordeal of closing on a house which was incredibly stressful uh and then on top of it tyler decided right at that moment that he is going to school for cyber security he has been for a little bit now and he decided that he was going to kind of take a leap and see if he could get a job in cybersecurity or in computers in general just to kind of get his foot in the door. So we were in the middle of closing on this house and that is like one of the biggest no-nos ever is to like try and switch jobs when you are purchasing a house. But uh, thankfully it ended up being okay and, and we were cleared to do it. But so in the meantime, we are closing on a house. We are preparing to go on an over, over, like, over international trip. Overseas, that's the word I was looking for. An overseas trip. Then he changes his job and we are trying to pack. We are trying to get all of our things in a row. It was insane. So that is why I essentially was not present on YouTube at all for a little bit. And then, we came back and the moving process began. So we immediately had to begin moving all of our stuff and moving everybody else's stuff. And it was just the most crazy. So we have been in the midst of essentially completely renovating the entire house. And so I will have some, I have been working on doing a entire home redecoration vlog so i have a ton of footage already we are re renovating like all of the kitchen cabinets all of our stuff um the master bedroom the kitchen the living room i'm actually sitting in our living room right now and i am so in love with it but yeah so we were thankful and lucky enough to have people in our lives who were willing to leave us a lot of furniture so we weren't like starting from scratch scratch but at the same time, we had so much stuff that we had to move. And then on top of that, home ownership is just a bear sometimes. So literally like a couple days into fully owning the house, we had an incredible rainstorm and our basement floods. And I'm like, are you kidding me right now? So we had to get a sump pump installed, which, um, was also an adventure so then everything that was sitting in our basement had to be relocated to other places in the house and then um more recently than that we had 
another big rainstorm and we found water leaking in through our window upstairs. So we'll probably have to replace that whole window. So it's just been a good time. Um, no, I'm, I'm being sincere, but I am very happy that we made the choices that we made. I really am. It's so cool to like own a house and, and I really do like the renovating and, and we are in a good place, but it, it was just like, just one thing piled on after another thing. And we were like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> just crazy. So I don't know. I highly recommend if you guys do have an opportunity to like purchase a house and stuff like that, you should do it, but just be prepared for the craziness that does go along with home ownership. It is not a joke. People do not mess around. It is very sincerely crazy. So yeah, I don't know. If you guys are into like home renovation stuff like that, uh, we will be posting a home renovation vlog or I guess I will be posting. Um, and you guys can see what the house looked like before, what it looks like now, and what it will look like when we fully finish everything. But I'm super happy with how it's all coming out. It is definitely a lot. However, um, it's good. It's really good. So in addition to all of that craziness going on, throw in to now, we are beginning the yearly stressor of, and fun stressor, but a stressor nonetheless, of it is time for volleyball season. So I have taken on the responsibility of being the high school head coach this year. So last year I was just an assistant and the year before I was just an assistant. And this year I am the head coach of the program, which is a little scary and a little bit intimidating. Um, however, so far so good. I like it. But yeah, it is pretty, pretty intense and there is a lot of pressure and a lot of responsibility that goes along with that. So yeah, so essentially since June, we have just been running around like crazy people trying to get the house like livable and now volleyball is starting up. So essentially I leave the house super early in the morning. So I'm gone a lot of the day. And then on top of that, um, Tyler has to go back to school soon, so I think he begins classes tomorrow. So he now won't be home much of the day either. So it will just be one crazy week after another crazy week for a period of time. Um, but it's good. <laughs> but I hope that that explains like why I've been essentially non-existent on most media recently it has just been a whirlwind of an adventure this summer it's been a really good summer but it has been stressful and crazy like you wouldn't imagine and so I just I just wanted to put that out there so that you guys know that I'm not just being a weenie and not doing anything I have just been running around like crazy and so like I said back a couple videos, I had some crazy exciting news to share with you guys. This was it. Um, this was really it. So yeah. Um, so I'm going to try and be as consistent as possible. However, keep in mind, that probably won't happen. So if you guys want any specific makeup tutorials or lookbooks or anything like that please comment what you would like to see down below it will be a lot easier for me to know what you want um i have ideas in my head of makeup looks that i would like to do however i don't know if you guys would want to see them so keep that in mind additionally if you guys have any suggestions or um, requests for Halloween looks that you would like me to do this year. I would love to do some Halloween looks. I don't know what looks to do. I'm not sure what you guys would want to see. So again, if you have any suggestions for me or any, like if you're going to be something specific for Halloween and you're like, dang, I don't really know how to do that makeup look or something like that, definitely, definitely like request it down below, comment it down below go on my Instagram and comment it on the picture that goes along with this or whatever picture floats your boat. 
Um, I would love to know what you guys want to see. Again, sincerely, I really do love makeup and I have been actually like dying because I haven't been doing much makeup recently and I hate that. So I've been like very creatively stunted, I suppose, but I have been doing a lot around the house as far as like decorating and painting and stuff like that. So please, please, please let me know if you guys have any suggestions for me, any looks that you want to see, etc. I would love to do them. As far as this look is concerned, I have been wanting to do like a super bright corally orange look. And I know that this is very summery, however, it is like a good summer going into fall look. Like, how crazy is that, you guys? That is almost... Well, no, it is already September. Like, that makes me feel ill. How is that possible? I don't even know. I hate it, but I also like it. Does that make sense? I run a weird, um... Like, I don't know. I love summer so much. And I really like fall, additionally. I just hate that fall means that then we're going to hit winter. And that gives me, like, existential dread. I absolutely hate winter time. I know everybody loves it. Everybody loves Christmas and stuff like that. I get that. It's not really my time of year. I don't love it that much. It is too cold. And I just, I cannot. I can't. I hate it so much. And I wish that it could just be like spring, summer, fall, spring, summer, fall, spring, summer, fall. Like who invented the fourth season, you know? So I think I need to move states, but I like my job too much and we just bought a house. So I guess I'm going to stay for a while, you know? But no, it is just, it's almost spooky season and that's pretty exciting I do love that and so I actually was making a list of um, Halloween movies to watch this this year I mean I always watch Halloween movies every year because Halloween is literally the best holiday of the entire year however um, I'm going to uh, maybe I should put the list in this video and then you guys can tell me if I'm missing any I would like to do a poll, maybe I'll do one on Instagram too, but I would like to do one on here. And we will see which um, Halloween movie you guys like the most. So I, I don't know, I like so many Halloween movies, it's hard for me to say, but you know Hocus Pocus is just like a classic film. How can you not like Hocus Pocus, you know? So Hocus Pocus is definitely top tier for me, but additionally, like, additionally, there is Casper, like Casper and Wendy. <sighs> Casper and Wendy, when I was little, used to be my movie. My freaking movie. And then I watched Casper, just like, like 1992 Casper or whatever it was. So good. Additionally, you know what doesn't get the recognition that it should? Um... The Scooby-Doo movies, The Witch's Ghost and Zombie Island. Like, I don't know who decided those shouldn't get the appreciation that they deserve, but they are such incredible movies. So I will be watching those as well this uh, season. I bought those at FYE a while ago because I needed them. It actually was when I got my wisdom teeth out. <laughs> I told my mom that I wanted to get those so that I wouldn't feel sad while I had my wisdom teeth out and I proceeded to sleep because I was so drugged up during the whole thing. However, great films. I watched them again being completely awake. Uh, so those are on the list. Um, Hocus Pocus is obviously on the list. Uh, Casper, Casper and Wendy are on the list. Halloween Town 1 and 2. And then who decided in the third one that they were going to switch out Marnie like nobody would notice? I don't know who thought that that was a great plan, but that was horrible. Disney, get it together. And then just like the other Scooby-Doo movies, like the 2002 and then Monsters Unleashed, I think is what the other one's called. Those were so good. 
that scene in the first one where <laughs> they're in the room, Scooby and Shaggy, and they're rooting and tooting up a storm, I was dying as a child. Um, still a great scene. If you guys have watched the movie, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so, such an infant. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, th oh, and obviously, obviously we have to watch the Harry Potter movies. I mean, that is a given. But those are like year-round films. We can watch those in the summertime. We can watch those in the wintertime. They're great Christmas movies. Additionally, they are great Halloween movies. I, you know, all, all year round, great films. But uh, Halloween time, you definitely got to watch them at least once. So we will be watching those. And yeah, I think that's, oh, Beetlejuice. Woo! Great movie. Great film. I know a lot of people who've never seen Beetlejuice, and that is upsetting to me. Please, if you haven't watched Beetlejuice, go on to, what is it, Freeform now, but it was ABC Family. I don't know why they decided to get all wild with their name, but whatever. And go ahead and watch that, if you haven't seen it, because that is a great film. And if Lydia is not a vibe in general for this summer, or for this fall, she should be for you. Obviously, there are, like, the classic, the classic Halloween, like, scary movies. So, like, Halloween and Scream and, uh, Nightmare on M Street, stuff like that. But I don't really count that as, like, Halloween movie. I guess I do. And then there's It, and they're coming out with It too. Ooh, I'm excited about that. I saw a trailer for that. I watched, um, me, Tyler, and one of my work friends went to see the, what is it, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark movie the other night. It was really good. I was actually surprised. Um, it hadn't gotten, like, that great of reviews. It wasn't bad, but it hadn't gotten, like, amazing, amazing reviews. I actually liked it. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's, like, the best movie I've ever seen in my whole life, but it was pretty good. I would watch it again. So, uh, so yeah, so if you are, if you are on the fence about seeing that movie... I would recommend it. I would go see it. For sure. For sure. So this I think is kind of where I'm going to leave my eye makeup. I think I might do a winged liner and some falsies maybe. But I really like how it turned out. I really like how bright it is. And Okay. So I'm probably going to do my wing liner and stuff off camera because it will take me a lifetime and you guys have seen me do it before so it's nothing new. My NYX Matte Liquid Liner and then we will be right back. Okay, so this is what the gems look like, and I really, really like it. I think it looks super cool. So I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Vitamin C Lip, and I'm going to put that all over my lips. Now I'm going to set my face with the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. We should be just about done.
guys, so this is the finished look. I really like how it turned out. I hope you guys did too. It's kind of like a 90s euphoria, fun, bright, summery, transitional. <laughs> There's a lot of adjectives. But uh, I really like how it turned out. I think it turned out really cool. I really like the colors. And I really like the gems. So this is not my first time using gems like this, but it definitely is very fun to jump on the trend and stuff like that. So if you guys did enjoy this video and you did enjoy like catching up with me and all of that good stuff, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. Again, if you haven't watched any of my other videos and you are interested in seeing what I have been up to the last couple months, then definitely check those out. I will link those at the end of this video as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, you should subscribe and click the bell, the little, yeah, yeah, click the bell to get notified. This has been a while since I've YouTubed, you guys. <laughs> click the bell so you get notifications every single time that I upload. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.